Okay, so today was Tesla's uh, first quarter 2016 uh, financial earnings call. And uh, as usual, we uh, got some very interesting information. I was waiting for this earnings call to find out if they were going to talk about their production plans for Model 3, and we have nothing but good news to announce. So, to recap, uh, I've got a little bit of a bullet list here. I'm going to go over it. Uh, Tesla is expecting to increase their production ramp of vehicles by 2018 uh, instead of 2020 to half a million cars. They were planning on doing that by 2020, but now it's been increased to 2018. Now that includes Model S, Model X, and Model 3, but the vast majority of it will be Model 3. Um, second tidbit uh, information, the Model 3 uh, engineering uh, prototypes that were driven around um, at the reveal event, we're uh, running uh, production drivetrains. That means the battery pack and the motors were finalized. That was Those were the real deal. So we'll get more information of that later on. So the other things that they've also said, the Model 3 final engineering will be finished in approximately six to eight weeks from now. So everything finalized about the car as much as uh, humanly possible. Release of the tooling designs, that means all the machinery to make the Model 3 and stuff has to be finished in June of this year. So that leaves them eight to nine months to build out the factory to get ready for production. They've also said they have an internal production validation cars in April of 2017, roundabout, if things go right. Uh, that's not start of real production. These are um, production prototypes, so you know, testing the tooling of the machinery and so on and so forth, um, you know, to validate the cars coming off the production line for, for real ramped up production. They also said they have a July 1st, 2017 internal deadline for supplier parts that are finished and initial production. Deadline might be impossible, but they have to hold the feet to the fire. Somebody has to be responsible for this. So they have an internal deadline of July 1st to make sure that everything is finalized to start production. And I think really what it means is that they want to start production of these vehicles as soon as humanly possible so that they can start deliveries uh, in volume by uh, the end of 2017. They said if they are able to hold all of these deadlines, get everything all in place and stuff, that Tesla would be capable of making 100,000 to 200,000 cars total by the second half of 2017. These are massive, massive increases in production at the company. I hope they can pull it off. Uh, a few other things too, and I've said it before, Model 3 was a vehicle designed from the ground up to be relatively easy to manufacture. That's not like the Model S and the Model X. Those vehicles were designed to work as opposed to being you know, easily producible. So this vehicle was designed right from the start to be easily made. So if, if they really get everything into place and they can pull this off, uh, I think it'll be good news for everybody to be able to get vehicles um, in time. Now, um, again, we still don't know when the EV uh, federal tax credit situation limit of 200,000 cars comes into play, uh, but I think Tesla is really trying to get that production ramped up as, as fast as possible so that when they start delivering cars um, that they can get as many out there um, you know, for as many people to be able to get that EV tax, uh, tax credit ready for everybody. So bodes well, it's good news, so uh, we'll keep following this news and see what happens, but uh, uh, very excited about this. I was hoping they were going to talk about this today, and they certainly did. So that's all I have for now, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter. Thanks, and talk to you soon.